Hello and welcome to the dungeon. I'm your Hobgoblin host, Hunter, and this is Hobby Goblin Studios. <laughs> so we all buy more models than we can actually paint, right? Or is that just me? Buying models while you already have an army's worth of miniatures to paint is such a common vice that our lovely little corner of the internet has dubbed this backlog the pile of shame. Recently, Dana Howell decided that she would show off her own pile of shame and then created a fun little game that we can play to help those of us with our insurmountable plastic crack addiction to crawl out from underneath the heat the overwhelming pile of plastic that we all feel trapped underneath. This game she calls Shame Golf. The basic rules are you gain points when you buy models and you lose points when you finish painting those models. Obviously like golf, you want a lower score. If you guys want to find out a little bit more about the rules there, they go a little more in depth than just that. Uh, I will have a link down below somewhere, either in a comment or in the description. Anyway, I started to realize that maybe I have a few too many unpainted miniatures, and I thought it might be kind of fun to try out Shame Golf. I wasn't going to make a video showing off the physical manifestation of my laziness, as I didn't really think there was going to be all that much to show. But as I started gathering all of my unpainted soldiers, I started finding things that not only I forgot I bought them, but I didn't realize they existed. So I kind of figured maybe there's more here than I thought. So today you get to see the mountain of plastic that makes me feel like less of a man. I suppose we should probably start with the box games that I'll never get around to playing. First up on the list are two expansions to a game I can't even play because I don't have the base game. Zombieside, Angry Neighbors, and Very Infected People number one. I picked these up when a small shop near me was going out of business and had some pretty good sales. That's about the only reason, too. I mean, I suppose some of the zombies here are pretty neat, and I could come up with a silly diorama for them or use them in some sort of post-apocalyptic skirmish game. Either way, this starts the shame counter at 54, with 34 zombies and angry neighbors, and 20 in VIP 1. Next up on the list of unfinished projects that make my father feel like he failed me is a game that I've actually played. The Dark Souls board game feels just like the video game, only when you die for the 1200th time and you feel like whipping something across the room, it doesn't quite feel as satisfying since a couple of miniatures bouncing off the wall is not quite the same as your PS4 controller. I have painted a handful of the models in this box, so we're only going to be adding 20 to the shame counter, taking us up to 74 minis. The most shameful part of this next game is that I even bought it. The MTG board game Arena of the Planeswalkers comes with 35 of the ugliest models I've ever seen. I bought these things hoping they would make good D&D minis, but I was sorely let down and another 16 blobs of plastic in the BFZ expansion is going to take it to 51. But seven of them come pre-painted, I guess? So we're going to put the counter to 118. In contrast to the last game, the original Warcry starter set is absolutely beautiful. I've already base coated some of the terrain in this box, and it is some of my favorite plastic terrain. It looks amazing on the table, not to mention the two brilliant warbands that come with it the Iron Golems, and the Untamed Beasts. Counting the terrain and miniatures, there are 23 models in this box. And the most recent of my unpainted games collection is the infamous Cursed City. I am super excited to try this game out and paint the insanely gorgeous models in it. Between the heroes and villains, we have 60 jaw-dropping sculpts to paint. The last box game on the list is Warhammer 40k Kill Team Pariah Nexus. I'm not a huge Space Marine fan, and the Necrons and Kill Team aren't really my style, so I sold them off a while back. But all the terrain in this set is still gray, or some of it's primed black. This means I have a total of 48 Necron-themed terrain pieces to add to the count. But most of them are kind of small, so they will be easy points in Shame Golf. That sure is a lot of shame. But we haven't even gotten started yet. 
So now it's time to take a look at all of my unfinished armies. And we're going to start with the badass battle nuns of 40k. First up, we have the limited edition battle box from when the Plastic Sisters models were first released, and more recent, Piety and Pain box. Most of the battle box is finished, but I still have five sisters, a Canoness, and four sister Repentia, and three Arcoflagellants. As far as Piety and Pain goes, the Drukari are gone, but all the other sisters are still on sprue, taking our count up to 268. Hmm. That wasn't so much. Maybe this isn't going to be as bad as I thought. Breaking into the AOS universe with the new Soul Blight Gravelords, I go back to hating myself for being so unproductive. Here we add 40 zombies, 20 skeletons, 5 blood knights, and the ever elegant Isabel von Karstein. And two more blood knights because 5 wasn't enough. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Not It was more than the sisters, but I think we'll be... Oh no, the Nurgle army's next. So we've got 12 Nurgling bases, 2 beasts of Nurgle, 10 Blight Kings, 1 Gutrot Spume, 1 Harbinger of Decay, a Magath Rider, 1 Plague Drone, and about 75 Plague Bearers I didn't feel like pulling out of the case. Some of these models are technically painted, but I bought them that way, and I'd really like to have my own paint job on them, so they count towards the pile, which takes us all the way up to 439. Man, I hope we're done soon. This next one's gonna make me feel a little bit better. Just three giants in the Sons of Behemot army. That was pretty easy to count. So this next army was my very first army. So most of it should be painted, right? Right? Off with two hammerheads, two piranhas, 10 drones of various different types, 24 built fire warriors, one commander in a box, and another 20 fire warriors on sprue. Uh, there's a Crisis Suit, Commander Farsight, oh, and there was a Stealth Suit in there too. Now we just add in a couple of Demons, the Keeper of Secrets, Lord of Change, and a Start Collecting Zinch Demons box. Then, moving out of Warhammer, we have a box of Kings of War Dwarves from Mantic. This box has 76 angry little squats in it, but having already painted the Badger Riders, Artillery, and a few others, I only have 56 to go. Now we'll move on to miscellaneous other things. I'm going to start off with these two wizards and the Blood Bowl humans. Then I've got the Warhammer Malign Sorcery box, and on top of that there's a few random Grey Knights and Stormcast models, as well as some more Warcry Warbands. That sure was a lot of stuff, but I'm glad I'm not as bad as some of the other people on... There's still more... Ugh. So here's an entire shelf of D&D minis that I haven't touched in over a year. Some of them are painted and others not so much. Maybe if it wasn't impossible to get a group of people to show up for D&D, this wouldn't be on my list. But such is the life of a forever DM. Oh, and who could forget the mystery toolbox? Surprise! More Mantic minis! This time it's a bunch of skeletons and zombies, because I didn't already have enough of them. And then the Song of Ice and Fire starter set that I forgot I bought. And now that finally brings our grand total up to... I forgot more of it. So for Dana's Shame Golf rules, doing commissions can improve your score. So I'm going to count my commission work into my pile of shame. So I've got a handful of marines, some plague drones in baggies, a chaos sorcerer, tally man, plague surgeon, some Necron stuff, we got some Warriors, a Great Unclean One, Chaos Rhino, and a Doom Scythe. And finally, the Silent King. Alright, I think that's finally it. After adding everything up, that's 839 unpainted miniatures. I can't believe there's that many miniatures in my basement, let alone unpainted ones. Putting them all together in one place, uh, on my table, all together, really put into perspective just how much was down here and just how far behind I'm getting. I never really thought that I was, you know, buying so much stuff. I always prided myself on the fact that I never bought anything I didn't need and unless it was, you know, something I was going to miss out on or, or I knew as soon as I finish this project I'm going to go do this thing so it's okay to buy it right now. However, putting everything together showed that that wasn't true. I'm really glad I did this video though, because 
Putting all of this together really is getting me motivated to finally start cracking away at this pile and get a bunch of this stuff painted. Oh, you know what? Hang on a second. There's one more I forgot. I'll, I'll be right back. So, uh, Dana, does this still count as just one point for Shame Golf? Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys hit like and subscribe because next week I'm going to be putting this monstrosity together and uh, showing you guys everything you need to know about working with large resin models. Then, the following Monday at noon Eastern Time, I'll be getting started painting it. And I'll be doing that live here on the channel. So, come hang out and check that out if uh, that's something that interests you. Thanks again for watching, guys. And if you'd like to support me any further, head on over to my website. <sighs> Hobbygoblinstudios.com And check it out. Then, go ahead and... Ask me about a commission. We'll get something going for you. And until next time, keep on crafting.